the New Vegas Script Extender, the memory patch, how to install it, and verify that it's working for both MO2 and Vortex. Welcome to Gamer Poets. If you have just installed the game, launch it. Close it. This establishes game registries so that NVSE can detect them. The NVSE site shows what game versions are supported. To see what version you have, open the game folder. Right-click the Fallout NV.exe. If you can't see the .exe, watch my modding tips videos on how to reveal it. Click on Properties, Details, Product Version. Vortex users, skip to the Vortex portion of this video. Everyone else, open the Script Extender page. Download the current stable version. Or if you see this, ignore the stable link. Open this instead. At the bottom of the most recent version, click the 7-zip option. Open the downloaded archive. If there's an NVSE folder, open it so that you see this. In the second window, Open the game folder. Drag and drop everything inside. Open MO2. NVSE should be auto-detected. If it isn't, modify executables. Add executable. Open the game folder. Double-click to NV loader. Apply. OK. From now on, unless otherwise stated, launch the game through NVSE via the Run drop-down menu. Click the bell icon. If NVSE has not been auto-installed, there will be a notification here. More. Download. Enable. Open the Mods tab. Deploy Mods. Go to your dashboard. Check that NVSE is installed. If it's not, click the Quick Scan button and it will be updated. From now on, unless otherwise stated, launch the game from here. At the game menu, push the tilde key to open the console. Non-English keyboards may have a different key. Type Get NVSE version. Enter. If any version is returned, NVSE is working. If not, and you are sure that you installed everything correctly, you may need to right-click the NVSE executable and set it to run as administrator. The memory patch lets the game use more memory, which helps to prevent some crashes and infinite loading screens. Here we check to see that the INI file for this patch exists and that it's set correctly. Open the game folder. Data. Open the NVSE folder. If one doesn't exist, create one. Inside the folder, Open the NVSE config.ini. If you don't see it, create a new text document and name it accordingly. Be sure to delete the .txt extension. Yes, if a warning window opens. If you can't see the extension, watch my modding tips videos. Open the ini. Type everything that you see on screen, or simply copy and paste it from the video description. When finished, close and save. Thanks for spending some time with me. See you soon.